A rainbow breaks through the clouds as a hero breaks through the bronze ceiling. Lieutenant Colonel Vivian Bullwinkle was the sole survivor of 22 nurses brutally machine gunned on Banker Island by Japanese forces in 1942. A champion of the nursing profession, Bullwinkle was also the first woman on the Council of the War Memorial, yet nurses needed to ask for her statue. I think it's an indictment of how women and nurses are valued in society. Because I have to ask for so much, I have to ask for a seat at the table. Vivian Bullwinkle rose above adversity. Now at three metres high, everyone looks up to her. 81 years and finally it's taken us that long to have a, a named statue of a woman. Just four people have been put on a pedestal in the grounds of the War Memorial. Bullwinkle joins Simpson, Dunlop and Monash. Though not named, this digger and his dog came eight years before a nurse and her fallen comrades. Vivian and many women should have been recognised much, much earlier than now in many ways throughout our country. The statue was asked for and also paid for by nurses. The college raised $500,000 to commission the work. From Boeing to bake sales, funds came from corporate and private donations, but not from the memorial's half-billion-dollar redevelopment fund. It looks like a lot of money that the War Memorial has received, but when you look at equivalents now under construction, it's actually not so big. The memorial says it's developing how it will depict the service of women in its new Iraq and Afghanistan galleries, due to open in 2028. James Fiver, ABC News, Canberra.